Oh, straight. Very straight. Just tickled leg side for four. That's often the plan, isn't it, to Jonathan Trott? Early on, sometimes goes across to the offside and plays round that front pad. They'd have seen a lot of each other, these two. Hit leg side again, off middle. Trott won't uh, bother about that at all. He's got two boundaries in the first over. It's eight for none. Not the length of the ball. I don't think he meant to bowl that either. It was just dragged down, wasn't it? Don't bowl there for anyone, especially Jonathan Frock. I think his luck, could he? He only pounced on it. Four. How many times have we seen that in the past where a bowler feels that he might just be sneaking one onto pad onto Jonathan Trott's pads? But it ends up with the ball whistling to mid-wicket for four. Two spinners that England have chosen for the winter tour. Trott starts with a reverse lap. Yeah, just pulled up just in just short by Sam Curran. Trot showing the intention straight away. Oh, a gift. Full toss on leg stump, and Trot had plenty of options. The one that he took was the little tickle down the leg side. The misfield will bring three. Clever shot. Loads of space, loads of room. Expertly played. Trot goes to 45. Fifty for Jonathan Trott. It's been another terrific season for him in the Royal London One Day Cup. It's his fifth fifty in seven innings, and for that seven hundreds, he won't get a hundred here today. There aren't enough runs on the board, but he is still a mighty fine cricketer and a great servant for Warwickshire. Yeah, he's arguably one of the best run scorers in the domestic game. Was when he played international cricket. Super shot, lovely shot. All about timing this, doesn't try and hit it too hard, just finds the middle of the bat. Well, he hasn't found his length in this over Ansari. He's been a little short, the batsmen have played him off the pitch. Pulled away. Sam Curran has been short today. For some reason, on a pitch that he's needed to pitch the ball up and vary his pace, he's been too short. Short again from Sam Curran. You can't bowl that length, not to trot. Warwickshire just one hit away. Ease through the covers, timed sweetly, and it is a walk in the park for Warwickshire. Their ninth victory in a final at Lords, and easily their most comfortable. A very one-sided affair. Yeah, well played, Jonathan Trott and Warwickshire. They've been brilliant today. Totally dominated the game. Jonathan Trott then goes back to mark his crease. <laughs> no idea what he was doing. But a, a very convincing victory for Warwickshire, winning by eight wickets. Outstanding performance set up by the bowlers. All the bowlers bowled really well, and then they fielded well at times. Laurie Evans took a brilliant catch at mid-wicket when Surrey were going well at 45 for none, started the collapse. And when you have a batting lineup that includes the experienced and class of Jonathan Trott, you always know 136 is not going to be enough. Smiles from Ambrose, smiles from Trott, smiles from the whole Warwickshire dressing room. Completely outplayed Surrey. Two very big clubs. One very big victory.